Today marked the start of the early signing day period for college football. There are three dates that future athletes can sign for football. Today marking the first for them to put pen to paper. This marking the first full season head coach Jake Dickert and his staff were able to recruit all their own. The Cougs signed 22 players total today, a majority of them from the high school level. Here's a little quick facts for you. 24-7 Sports currently has this year's recruiting class ranked at number 59 in the FBS. All of the signees are ranked as three stars thus far. As you can see, the class is heavy in defensive backs and offensive line. Old line a spot the Cougs have been trying to sure up. Of note from today's signees, WSU getting Texas transfer linebacker Devin Richardson. We all saw how well that went getting Dayon Henley for this season. Drawing some comparisons, Dickert doesn't want that kind of pressure on Richardson though and spoke on his team's approach in selling the program. That. I don't want to put that on anybody. Uh, I don't want to put that on anybody. I, I'm definitely excited about Devin, but I'm not going to put Dayon on anybody. Dayon's his own animal, and, and I want Devin to be his own person, too. We sell Pullman, and we're about as real as you can be. You know, instead of taking him to five star restaurants, we have a barbecue on the 50 yard line, and we bring all of our families here, and that's what we do. You know, I said it earlier today, it's family over flash, and really excited about this group of men and who they are, and, uh, you know, selling them the promise of, develop them not as just football players but as but as people. Coach Jack turned around the Idaho Vandals this season with a trip to the FCS playoffs and now like Dickert he's getting his first full season of recruiting in and my oh my was his team busy the Vandals signing a whopping 39 recruits in the first day of the early signing period a ton of local ties with today's class 12 from Idaho and 12 from Washington with six in our viewing area here in the Spokane area Two from Lake City and two from Lewiston. Of note, a special one for Coach Eck, his son, Jackson Eck signing, who played his senior year in South Dakota. In classic Coach Eck form, he says he's fortunate to go local with recruiting as he sees this area as under-recruited by other programs. You know, there's less competition up here, which is good. You know, I was fortunate, uh, you know, my wife likes big guys, so there's less competition, so it was a good thing for me. It's... <laughs> Anytime you have less competition, you're you're better off. I think that just is a sound strategy, no matter what school you are, is trying to get the, the best players within a five or six hours radius of your campus. One of a kind, Coach Eck. Coach Aaron Best in Eastern Washington looking to turn things around after a 3-8 and eight season. Best and crew signing 19 players today with seven coming from the state of Washington and 10 from the state of California. An interesting note from today's class, the Eagles signing four quarterbacks today. Of course, last year's starter Gunnar Talkington is now graduated. Seems there will be some competition with soon-to-be redshirt sophomore Kakoa Vesperis for the starting job. Best, like Coach Dicker and Eck, will likely have more recruits signing later on. He mentioned an issue all FCS coaches face right now is waiting on kids with FBS opportunities to make a decision.